Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Learn Your Benefits webinar. We're going to get started right away. And as people come in board or come inside of the webinar, I'll invite them in. But thank you very much for joining us. This is our first 2022 webinar. Uh, what HR professionals can learn from marketers. Now, agreed, no one in this room <laughs> very likely signed up to be in sales or marketing. Um, so what we're going to try to do is just pull key experiences or interesting um, processes or ideas for marketing and borrow those for marketing, or excuse me, for benefits communications. And with this, I'm going to go ahead and remove my camera here so I can focus on the presentation and no one has to sit and stare at uh, my face. We can focus on the slides. So this topic uh, that you're about to see is something we've actually done at a few uh, state and local SHRMs uh, recently, the Tri-State SHRM, Virginia SHRM, um, a couple other partners and resellers. We're doing it again uh, in Ohio and a few other states here. Uh, it's been pretty well received. The challenge we'll have with this presentation is it's normally one hour long, but since this is sort of a lunch and learn and people are coming in uh, to the goodness of their heart and, you know, taking up their lunch and taking up their days, I'm going to try to condense it into 30 minutes. So um, hopefully it goes slow enough that we learn a lot, but not too, uh, but also fast enough so we can get through it all and, um, make sure there's there's less questions are at the end. So before I dive in, let me go into our opening remarks. Uh, a little bit of this starts with our mission. Uh, Learn Your Benefits personal mission or organization's mission is to help employees thrive and be there during employees' moments of need. So employees obviously thrive when they're maximizing the value of their benefits, when they're making healthy decisions for themselves and their families. What do we mean by their moments of need? Now, it doesn't need to be ridiculously complicated. What it can be very easily is when somebody has a question or what was my deductible? What was my copay? What was that phone number? What was that website you told me about? That's a moment of need. And as you'll see in a few minutes in this presentation, many organizations fail at making things findable or instantly accessible. Moments of need too can also be very serious during open enrollment. What's the right plan for me? What's the um, right financial decision? What's the right 401k contribution? Those are complicated moments of need. They take careful consideration. And a lot of employers put great time and energy, which is fantastic into that. But there's also year round moments of need that we need to monitor and make sure employees aren't going to the closest warm body to get their answer during those moments of need. Well, why do we need to do this? Why are we helping employees thrive and trying to be there during their moments of need. Well, this is mission enough. Employee benefits, as you all know, are so tied to overall well-being that communications must never stop. Now, I pulled up the, the funny little photo on the right, which is a fantastic show. You guys all understand this, that on the other end of the employees you're talking to is a family with needs. It's a family with different, um, I guess, stages in their life cycle from new hires to experienced um, benefits people to people nearing retirement to people starting a family. Every person has a different learning need. Every person has a different moment of need. Every person measures thriving differently. So what we need to do is we need to approach communications in such a way that we're serving all of these various audiences. And why is that? It's because employees are 74 more percent more likely to be satisfied with their job if they're understanding and using your benefits. Employees are 51 percent more likely to stay if they're overall healthy and they're leveraging your benefits. And then finally, 53 percent more likely to be productive if they're happy, healthy, and leveraging your benefits. So these statistics alone, even in a smaller organization, or let alone a multinational organization, are enough to be pushing communications as something that's incredibly important year round. So over the next 27 minutes, give or take, uh, 25 minutes, we're going to talk through these objectives and then this is our overall agenda. So I'll give you a little bit of an introduction on us, uh, myself and Learn Your Benefits. We'll talk about understanding your audience 
and the customer journey. Now, the customer journey is one of those marketing concepts that uh, we're going to borrow in here. And later on, I'll begin to call it the employee benefits journey. And then how to utilize multimedia for effectiveness along that customer journey, or AKA the employee benefits journey. We'll talk about future webinar webinars and what we'll do is follow up to this presentation, which is I'm just gonna send you our slides and links to future webinars. I'll spend 30, 60, 90 seconds on learning benefits depending on the time, although I don't think we'll get to it because I don't want this to be a sales pitch because there's just as many clients on this as there is um, people that are um, friends of ours. And then we'll do a little Q&A. Uh, right now we're using Teams as the webinar. It doesn't do a great job with chat. So at the end, I'll provide you with my email address or our support email or info. And with that, you can ask questions and we would love to um, help you out with those. So what is Learning Benefits and who is, <laughs> who is talking to me right now? Uh, I am, as you saw, the, the large person on the left. I am six foot seven. Uh, if you saw me, you wouldn't forget me. I'm one of the co-founders here with Learn Your Benefits. I've been in HR and technology and operations and finance and strategy for 15 or 20 years. My co-founder has been in communication specifically uh, for over 20 years, and he's worked with everyone from Mercer to Marsh to Aon to large Fortune 100 organizations in communications, and he immediately saw the need that, hey, most people work for small and mid-sized businesses. We need to make sure they're communicating to their employees just as well. So then that was the genesis of Learn Your Benefits is let's give communications and navigation tools to any size organization. And the best way to do that is to make it a true software as a service platform that doesn't involve significant time to set up or significant time um, from your vendor or you to manage. Started in 2017, we've got hundreds of clients, but that's enough. So as we start talking about um, borrowing from marketing for HR communications, let's start with understanding our audience, which again is employees. So I apologize for using sort of these, these terms from customer journey. Well, it's really the employee benefits journey or the awareness journey. And then as far as your audience is concerned, again, borrowing from marketing, what's really your employees and their families? So let's talk about understanding your employees. You've seen some of these. Let's bring them up again for, I guess, prominence and recency. So they're top of mind when we get into the, the real bread and butter of this. So with employees, I think you all appreciate <laughs> that open enrollment feels like cramming for a month final. We all know it's a necessary evil. No one wants to be doing it this way. There are some pretty cool health insurance organizations bind here locally in Minneapolis and others that are trying to do away with open enrollment, but the reality is it's a necessary evil. The challenge with it though, is obviously communicating the massive expanse of benefits that employers are rolling out. But the problem, as you know, is you're only gonna remember so much. This statistic here is you only remember about 20% of the information you quickly learned after a 30 day period. So like if you crammed for a test in college, you very likely will only remember 20% of that information after 30 days. So as employees have needs throughout the year or have to actually learn how to use or make proper benefits decisions, they will have very likely forgotten what you told them during open enrollment because it is like cramming for a final. So we have to make sure they have access to systems and tools to help make them uh, make those real time decisions, those moments of need year round. So again, you'll lose about 80% of that information. The next thing is understanding your employees are two times more likely to leave if you communicate poorly and frequently. The reality is this is also very much tied to um, supervisor and uh, you know direct report communications just as much as benefits communications. But if employees are more likely to be leveraging your benefits, they're less likely to be leaving. Uh, so again, the more they're I guess the more you have your fingers into them, or you know, the the more likely they are to stay because they're using utilizing the leveraging your benefits. So over a long term, it's it's in everyone's best interest to make sure we're we're communicating as frequently as possible. So um, the other thing too is it, it's really important to communicate year round. So employees, if they're two times more likely to leave the job 
if if you're not utilizing your benefits. So the best strategy with this is to communicate more frequently. And one of the things we're going to talk about in just a second is, again, the customer journey or really the employee benefits journey. Because the more you drive awareness, the more you'll push people through this, this sales funnel, if you will, which is awareness, findability, consideration, conversion. You don't have to write this down or memorize it just yet because I'm going to get into details on it. But the more you promote awareness at the top with frequency, the more people will seek back findability. They'll look for that information later. The more they'll give it consideration later on, and the more likely they are to use that benefit later on. So again, the more you start at the top of the funnel, the more you'll have people using it, that benefit, the more you'll need to nurture later on. We'll talk about that again in just a second. So next thing about your audience is to them, content has a very short lifespan. If you look at the information on the left, um, TikTok or Twitter, instant decay or 15 to 18 minutes of, of relevance or Facebook six hours or YouTube is 20 days. People, now, it, I don't want to say it's social media that has caused this or it's just, you know, evolution that people are now consuming bite-sized information, but the reality is information goes in one ear and out the other. It's more about recency than it is about the quality of the content. As you all know, <laughs> the marketers or people selling things or, or newspapers or, you know, some media out there, they've switched to clickbait, you know? So I'm not saying we need to switch our communications to be clickbaity for employees. Uh, you know, the five benefits doctors, hey, click here. I'm just saying that our information that we're promoting isn't super interesting. So I have to admit, or I have to assume that the lifespan in an employee's brain, the minutes that it's taking up inside of a per employee's brain is super short. So we need to understand this, just like marketers and sales organizations need to understand it in order to resonate with them and be there when they have that moment of need to make a decision or, you know, or have to route or go to a certain provider. Additionally, employees demand findability. So many times our websites, our paper guides are thrown away. Everything is buried behind a login or it's complicated to get at because so many organizations think this information is super confidential and I agree it is. We do have security abilities and, and requirements we need to hit here too, but when an employee has a moment of need for a decision, it's very regularly difficult for people to get an answer. So we have to be mindful that we're giving them that findability when they need it. Like think about Amazon.com. Well, why are they so great? It's because there is no login. The information they seek to buy or they seek to get at is findable instantaneously. Additionally, the information is searchable. What was my copay? What was my deductible? Who was that provider? What was that phone number? Where, where do I go to take the drug test? That's very regularly not searchable or instantly findable in many organizations. So it's critical that things are searchable and findable. And then instant visibility is another reason Amazon is great. You can look at their website immediately and be aware of what they're selling, how they're selling it. They're very regularly recommending additional products or trending things, or the last person that bought this bought this. That type of findability is, is really critical for consumers, AKA employees these days, um, in your communications. And as we'll talk about in a second, it's, it's many organizations don't do a great job at it. And then finally, as we talk about your audience, instant web and mobile access is key. And I've, I know you've heard this a thousand times. You've got the photo of Sears robot catalog up here in the top left. That's the old way of, of selling and promoting. Everyone's moved to amazon.com, but yet we're still using catalogs or benefits guides for questions or for awareness, for consideration, for nurturing of these employees, understanding their benefits. It's not a great tool. We have to embrace with the data on the right that you've got about three minutes to give that employee an answer. Otherwise, they're going to go to the closest warm body. So they have a moment of need. Uh, what was my copay? What was, what was the clinic that uh, was recommended to us for orthopedics or 
what's the organization that we know is to be the cheapest one for uh, you know my you know annual exams. If an employee can't get an answer within 180 seconds, they're going to go to the closest warm body. They're going to go ask Carl. Hey, Carl, what was the name of the clinic that we're supposed to use? And Carl is very likely wrong. So they're going to make a bad decision, whereas we, if we could have caught them with findability and awareness and the right tools, we could prevent people from making real-time bad decisions. You've got such little time to reach them. So now let's summarize what we just talked about in terms of employees or consumers, if you will. They don't like to read. Employees certainly don't want to cram, as we all know, none of us want to cram. Benefits is, you know, as I say it, it's, you know, around this organization, it's 10 months of boredom followed by two months of sheer terror. Um, but it's a necessary evil, and we love doing it. Employees want year-round awareness. Employees want interesting and informative materials, because, again, lifespan is ri ridiculously short. We can't go out and start doing clickbait titles. Um, so we have to resort to informative bite-sized information. And then employees need findability for their moment of need. Well, what does that sound like to us? And I know I've been using the term employees or consumers interchangeably or benefits journey with consumer journey or the customer journey regularly because there are so many parallels. It, consumers don't want to read. They're not reading catalogs to buy anything anymore. You're going to the store or you're going to a website. Employees don't cram. You, you, they, employees or excuse me, consumers spend a ton of time studying a car purchase or jeans or household products. They don't want to cram. You don't go to somebody, hey, you have 10 seconds to choose a toaster you want to buy. Well, that might be a bad example because so many people, so many people might, would choose a toaster in, in 10 seconds. But you can't force them to cram. They're going to panic and make a bad decision. Consumers need year-round awareness. They want to be able to buy something when they want to buy it instantaneously. So it's important to be driving awareness year-round. Within consumers, then, you want interesting, informative materials. Our benefits communications need to be interesting and informative, not detailed and, and sort of wide. So think infographics, things like that. Can't get into a ton of those details now, but I think you agree. And then employees and consumers need findability for that moment of need. I need to buy this now. Where is it available? You've seen the, I don't know, maybe you have or haven't seen the Google ads lately where somebody needs to buy a waffle maker. They pull up their phone and they realize it's a Best Buy. By the afternoon, they're eating waffles. That's the moment of need that employees have for making appropriate decisions. And if things are buried in catalogs or behind firewalls, when they have a moment of need, it's very likely uh, where we might be leaving people short here. So, Let's talk about learning for marketing for the employee benefits journey. And to do that, I want to introduce the idea of the modern customer journey. And then I'm going to tie that back to the employee benefits journey over the remaining 10 minutes, give or take. So this is the modern customer journey, but for your notes and for your thoughts, think of this as the benefits journey. And the very first step is awareness. This is where an employee's or a consumer's awareness of a need meets the awareness that that product exists. So we know toasters exist, and then ultimately an employee goes, oh man, I, I, I need a toaster, so I need to go buy a toaster. Parallel to benefits is I know we have a particular clinic we work with, I know we have a deductible, I know it's cheaper if I use in-network, what was the name of that network we needed to get at? Which brings me then to the next question. Findability. How do I find that answer? Or how do I find that product? How do I find a toaster? Well, I go to Google and I type in toaster and then Amazon.com comes up. Or we just run to Target and Walmart and just buy a toaster. Benefits is different. How do I find the name of that network we're using? Or is that doctor in network or not? What was the website you need to go to? What was the address for this? What was... Findability is super critical when it comes to understanding the customer journey, when it comes to understanding the employee benefits journey. Reputation. I've taken to call this consideration. This is the point now where somebody is carefully considering toaster A over toaster B. Or in our life, medical plan A versus medical plan B, or clinic A versus clinic B, or 
pet insurance option one over pet insurance option two. This is where I'm now spending the time to understand that this is the better path for my family. This is the better path for my animal. And then conversion, now I'm buying it. Where do I buy it? How do I buy it? Here's my credit card for the toaster example. For the conversion example in health and benefits, it's where was that website? Where do I download the HSA app or the FSA app? How do I actually contribute money to my FSA? Let's not get in their way. In a marketing and customer journey experience, if somebody's got their wallet out, you take their credit card. In the benefits communication space, when people are ready to contribute to the HSA, contribute to their FSA, or you know, submit a reimbursement, we have to make it as easy as possible for them to do that. Which brings me to the biggest gaps in many, many employers. So let's do that. The biggest gap, if you take a look at the right, benefits employers have added or expanded. This is right out of Fortune. This is literally from about two and a half or three months ago. Many employers are adding dental and vision and health and wellness stipends and fertility benefits and mental health and um, tuition reimbursement. You look at all of these benefits. They're dramatically expanding in every organization as we try to compete for qualified or capable employees. They're becoming condition specific. The benefits are customizable. They're time bound. They're seasonal. They, they're only relevant during a certain period of time. So the more specific benefits are, the more new or unique they are, the more we need consideration time. And so what I mean by that is that middle bullet there, promoting year round, giving employees case studies and examples and helping them understand how the benefit works, helping does it resonate with them, they need more consideration time than many employers are giving them. Videos is one tool. Decision support tools are another, but decision support tools do nothing for pet insurance or mental health. Um, it's really critical we're giving employees quality materials for them to consider a specific benefit and make them available year round. Now, yes, ultimately employees can only enroll in open enrollment season for many benefits, but they should still have time to consider year round. So make these things available year round fine. And awareness only does so much to so employees for most employers, we work with Rock at Awareness. Here's our one-on-one -on -one meetings. Here's our webinars. Here's our benefits guide. Here's what we do. You all are aware now. What happens then the rest of the year when they're time to can consider it? And the next thing too, and I, I, I preface this earlier, a, a major gap is find excuse me findability. What is that clinic? What is the network? What is the other network? How do we download the app? How do we get it on my iPhone? Where's my fitness tracker? Getting those answers in so many employers is really, really difficult. So we're using benefits guides, which I call Sears robot catalogs. Uh, we're putting things behind firewalls with ADP and our bed admin or HRI system. It doesn't do much to specifically help with findability in, in so many places. So one more time to summarize our gaps, is our goal is to help employees thrive. So get our benefits into their hands and help them make the appropriate decisions and then be there during their moments of need. So again, awareness, great. We all do a great job at it. Findability is super critical. When they need to make a decision, let them make a decision and get, provide them with the information and then provide them with quality content for consideration. Now, obviously we're a communications platform company. We obviously do you know materials all the time. But we work with organizations as small as 18 employees. They are not going to hire us to do lots of custom videos. So we've made it so our, our system is wide open. Um, we have no storage limit, no streaming limits, no nothing, because your vendors have videos. Let's get our hands on all of our vendors' materials. Pet insurance, they have videos if they don't choose a provider that has it. Uh, your medical insurance provider, they very likely have um, materials you can get your hands on. So don't feel like you need to recreate or others need to recreate it. Have somebody go out there and get it. So our second objective then was, other than introducing the idea that employees are like consumers, that there is a, um, a customer journey just as well as there an employee benefits journey and there's things to learn. Well, now that we've started to think about that employee journey, how do we leverage multimedia effectively during this process. 
So let's talk about what employers are doing. And this is based on surveys and interviews that, that we do of prospective clients during our initial meetings. Are they doing paper benefit guides? Are they doing year-round promotions? Are you doing emails, texts? Are you doing multi-channel promotions with emails, texts, websites, landing pages, things like that? And you can see this distinct, hopefully you see my mouse here, gap or a distinct change that happens once you get to organizations of, say, 600 on up. They begin embracing the multimedia technologies and things like that. And quite frankly, that's what needs to change. And that's what um, Learn Your Benefits is trying to do is bring modern communications to any size organization. Um, and so while we're not doing paper materials and we don't highly recommend it, um, we want to make sure that it's, it's as accessible and as affordable as possible. So a lot of the topics you talked about today, ensuring that there's awareness, ensuring that the materials are there for any answer that they want to have, um, we make it so that it's there. We have campaigns and texting abilities and things like that. So that's about the, the gist of the webinar here. And I know I, I probably went fairly quickly. Uh, I am going to spend... 60 seconds, 90 seconds talking about Learn Your Benefits. I won't be offended if you take off, but let me just talk about really quickly this, this presentation here. Um, we're going to email the slides to the registrants after this event. I'll send you a link to this recording, a link to future webinars. Um, so very much again, thank you for coming. If you want to just check out future webinars right now, go to info.learnyourbenefits.com forward slash webinars. We've got three or four other presentations scheduled for the rest of this summer, focusing uh, heavily on education like this one was. Uh, I think future ones, we're actually going to expand it from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So we'll be able to go a little bit more slowly. Um, but again, I'm going to jump over now to just talking about learning benefits a little bit. Feel free to, um, you know, take off. <laughs> you won't hurt my feelings. Um, and so, again, feel free to book a future webinar. Uh, at this URL you see right here. I'll also send it in an email after this, this webinar here. But let's talk about Learn Your Benefits again. Um, I'm one of the co-founders, as you saw earlier. We're not an HRIS system or a event admin system. Our goal is video-focused communications that accelerates knowledge for happier, healthy employees. Our goal, as you saw, is to help employees thrive and be there during their moments of need because we try to borrow a lot of the capabilities of some of the best products that are out there from Amazon to YouTube to Wikipedia to Google. Google in the sense of search and instant answers, Amazon in the same vein, YouTube providing videos for employees is super critical for that consideration phase of the customer journey. And then Wikipedia because we make everything instantly accessible. So going back to the employee benefits journey of awareness, findability, careful consideration, conversion, we have features that check each one of those boxes from campaigns to texting, virtual benefit fair experience built in immediately, visual experiences, everything is searchable, training resources, et cetera, is all there for Learn Your Benefits. We have lots of videos. We can do videos in real time, changes, so we're always customizing and updating videos. And then buttons and calls to action. So when employees are ready to download, ready to go to a certain website, ready to download the HSA app or the FSA app, we've got links and buttons that we can make instantly observable so employees are routed to the right thing. So many organizations, they're using paper or they're using other software providers. So they're doing a virtual benefits fair or something like that. It's very, very expensive for a fraction of the cost. And paper doesn't do much for findability. In findability, most people, organizations are routing employees to a Ben Admin site or an HRIS system, again, not super findable. And then decision support doesn't do anything for awareness or findability. It helps with careful consideration. And then all the other sort of back things. All of these things are in one solution, standalone communications platform. And our goal is with you is to automate your rear-round communication, streamline your open enrollment, and be as plug and play as possible. Um, so meaning we can basically turn it on and be up and running in no time. So with that, some common questions people have um, are on the screen here, but it's 1230. I'm going to let you all go. If you have any questions for me, feel free to email at info at learnyourbenefits.com or support at learnyourbenefits.com. 
I thank you all very, very much for joining us. If you have any feedback, I'm happy to take it. Well, certainly tell me about the length or the speed. I apologize if we went really, really quickly. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we have a webinar that does a detailed tour of our software. So feel free to tune in for that webinar if you want to see more about the our actual capabilities. So take care, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.